which is weird because you're not a spider. How can you drop a spider eye? What, you eat one or something? Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's going to be a mod showcase on the special mobs mod once again. And this time we're checking out the silverfish, guys. Seriously, this is the only mod I've ever seen that added silverfish into it. So I was kind of excited to show it. I mean, someone out there has to be waiting for the silverfish mod. And today we can make that dream come true. M maybe someone's waiting for it. Maybe not. But it's kind of cool that there's like a different variety. And some of them have some cool abilities too. And not only that, guys. This is like the smallest part of the special mobs mod. So I decided to add in their enchanting as well. There's like a couple like special enchantments you could get. And first up, guys, we're checking out one that goes right through armor and resistance. So if you're fighting a zombie that's wearing, like, some iron gear, it's going to go right through it. It's going to be awesome. So there's actually, like, two different enchants. The one for the sword is called Pain, and for the bow, it's called Agony. And it goes up to three, and of course, you know, the higher it is, the more it goes through the armor. So with, like, Agony 1, it would barely do any extra damage. But with three, it'd be like they're not even wearing anything at all. So I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to grab this, and we're going to test it out, guys. I even have this, like a splash potion of resistance. I think the best way to test this one is to toss like resistance on a mob and see how it goes through it. Because it works pretty much the same with armor too. So what I'm going to do is get an iron golem. I'm sorry about this, but actually I'm kind of going to help you. Let me get this. Normal resistance. Don't run. Oh no. Oh no, not bomb me. You're going to die. Get away from him. Get away from him. Don't, don't you do this. You're evil. We have to kill him. All right, resistance. You can have it. Normal resistance. Oh my God. Okay, guys. So what I've got right here is a diamond sword enchanted with it. And right now, I'm doing 9 damage. Like, it's doing extra against him. It's that good. So, it actually increases your damage as well. As you can see, like, I totally owned him. And I gotta get a little bit further away. So, he did have some armor, which is basically the resistance. If I were to toss on resistance 4, is this one right here. You're gonna see, like, a huge difference. So, with resistance 4, I can't knock through as much of it. So, with this one, it's only doing 4 damage. But normally, with like a regular sword, this actually would probably do nothing at all. I've got some stuff for comparison. So, a normal diamond sword is going to hit for one or two. That is not good. I mean, the resistance is so powerful. It works the same way as armor does. So, let's try this with a bow with no enchants. So, this one is going to do two damage. So, the thing is, with these enchantments on, like the higher it is, the more damage it's going to do. It's going to do four with the bow, four or five. And same thing with the sword. So yeah, it makes a huge difference. It gets armor and definitely gets resistance too. And for one final example, I'm going to hit a dude that has no armor on at all. So this enchant, it actually does increase your damage a bit, but not as much as sharpness. Keep that in mind. So right now I'm going to hit him. It's going to do about 11 damage with this one. And this is like power on the bow. So once again, it's going to do about 10 or 11 damage like that. So it does increase your damage, but not by a ton. But anything that has armor on, it's going to be a huge advantage. The next one is really cool, guys, and there's a reason Bami is standing on it. It gives some horrible effects to the mobs. It's really cool. So we've got Plague on the sword and Scourge on the bow. And with the higher enchant, the more, like, bad effects it can give. So it can give three with three, you know, with two. It can give two and one. It can give one. So I'm going to grab both of these, and we're going to kill some iron golems with some horrible effects. Honestly, they deserve it. They tried to kill Bami. We saw it happen. The dude is evil. So I'll spawn him right here. I'm going to smack him, and we'll see what happens. So let's go for it. That is not good. Look at that, guys. Three horrible enchants. He's got, like, hunger, weakness, and blindness. That's not good. And look, it keeps going. And the potion effects, they keep increasing. Like, the more I attack, it's insane, isn't it? So, it's going to put on three, like, automatically, and then it just keeps increasing them. So, we'll try it with the bow. It only did it one. Come on. Give me three. All right, there we go. And, yeah, it just keeps increasing. He's, like, stuck in there. They're going to have, like, the wither effect, the poison effect. Eventually, the mobs are just going to die. It's a huge advantage. Like, having this on a weapon, it's going to be good against fighting any kind of mob that there is. And the next one we're on to stacks poison. But keep in mind, a lot of mobs are not affected by poison. But against creepers, it's going to be awesome. I mean, they're not going to stand a chance. So this one, on a sword, it's called poison aspect. On a bow, it's called venom. And interestingly enough, like, on a bow, it can go up to two. But on a sword, only one. So keep that in mind. And yeah, I think we'll try to test it on a creeper. They're going to die, like, so horribly, though. All right, here we go. We'll spawn one in, and I'm going to stab you. I'm sorry about this. So right now, it's poison. But if you hit it twice, it's going to be hard to show. The poison is going a lot quicker. You can definitely tell. But I think against, like, a stronger mob with more health, it's going to be more obvious. Okay, we'll poison him once. He's taking a little damage. If I hit him again, he's going to start taking it really quick. So the more you attack, like, the more poison damage it's going to do. And eventually, the mob is kind of just going to die, as you can see. And with the bow, it's pretty much the same. But the thing is, this one has venom, too. 
It's really bad. It starts automatically horrible on your opponent. So check this out. He's poisoned horribly. And I think the reason they probably did this is because it takes a lot longer to, like, you know, draw back a bow than it does to attack with a sword. So they probably made it so you could poison them a little bit quicker that way. But as you can see, against mobs that can be poisoned, they are going to be very, very unhappy. And now we're on to the silverfish. You can see in front of us, it's a fishing silverfish. He's, like, red. And no, he does not go fishing. It'd be kind of cool if he did. Like, grabs a fishing rod and goes near the water. So this dude, what he does is he reels you in. He's only, I believe, 90% speed. He's a little bit slower than normal silverfish. And he can drop raw fish. Maybe he does go fishing in his spare time or something. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go into survival and try to fight this dude. He doesn't have a lot of health, but it definitely adds some variety, like, into your silverfish fighting. So I've got a weapon. All right, here we go. Oh, did you see that? He actually brought me in. I saw, like, a fishing rod. Do you have one on you, bro? Do you have a fishing rod in there somewhere? I'm scared. Oh, God, I'm in the water. That's, like, his favorite place. All right, we'll kill him. He keeps, like, pulling me into his face. So as you can see, pretty easy to kill, but definitely, like, a variety. If you don't see it coming, it's just going to, like, bring you in towards him. And it'll smack you. If you're wondering why I'm not going in order with the silverfish and kind of just, like, getting a random one, it's because there's no spawn eggs in this mod. It's kind of hard to review because of it. I, like, spawn in, like, a billion silverfish and hope there's, like, a weird variety. So with this one, it's a blinding silverfish. You could probably guess what he does. He blinds you horribly. So I'm just going to let him do it. Show you guys what he does here. Okay, I'm blind. So, yeah, he bites you and blinds you. It lasts for a few seconds. And other than that, not too much. Doesn't really hurt too bad. I've got leather gear on right now. I figured it was pretty fair against Silverfish. So, yeah, we're going to kill him. Let's do it. And he is down. Yeah, that's his only ability. He can blind you, but it can be really annoying. Like, if there's a Silverfish spawner and, like, a ton are coming and then you get blinded, that's going to be horrible. And also, guys, the blinding one can actually drop an ink sack. So, kind of a cool way to get it. You don't have to kill squids. So you can kill, like, a blinding Silverfish instead. All right, guys. So, the next one we're on to is called the Flying Silverfish. And do you see that? He jumped over my head. He doesn't actually fly, but he leaps like crazy. Seriously, you keep leaping over me. I don't know if you're trying to do that. Let me smack him. All right, here we go. So, yeah, when you get too far away, a silverfish might come flying at your face. It's kind of cool, actually. Let's see it again. Oh, man, he came out of nowhere. Look at that. I don't even see him. It's like you teleport, bro. It scares me. I'm going to have to kill you. So, this one, he could drop a feather. Actually, dropped it that time. And I believe he's quicker, too. He goes at 130% normal speed and, of course, is immune to fall damage. And next up, we are on to a silverfish that takes way too many steroids. That thing is scary looking. It's got 24 health, which is a lot for a silverfish. It looks pretty evil, too. So I believe it's a lot stronger. I haven't tested it. I wanted to see my own reaction on camera, so let's do this. Hit me, bro. Hit me. How much damage? A heart for a silverfish is actually pretty good. I mean, normally these dudes, they don't do too much because there's like a team of them attacking. And 24 health. Yeah, your defense. Look at this, guys. His defense is ridiculous. With a wooden sword, one damage. I think I could hold him back. Wow. Diamond sword right here, guys. One to two damage. The dude is crazy. He doesn't hit that hard. I mean, he does pretty good for silverfish, but defensively, best thing I've ever seen before. All right, we got to take him out. All right, here we go. Please drop something cool. Got some flint. Also, guys, I did want to mention he could drop an iron ingot on occasion as well. Uh, surprisingly, I got the last one, like, really quick. So this dude, it's a poison silverfish. It, of course, poisons you, and it can drop a spider eye, which is weird because you're not a spider. How can you drop a spider eye? What, you eat one or something? All right, he's got eight health, and here we go. I'm ready for it. Poison me. It's not that bad. It hurts a little bit. So, yeah, it poisons you. And the thing is, guys, if you go into, like, a stronghold, and, of course, there's always, like, the spawner there for a bunch of these. If you have a bunch of weird varieties attacking you, you might actually die there. It can be really dangerous and definitely much more of a challenge than normal. Anyways, guys, that is about all there is to show with this portion of the mod. It adds in some crazy silverfish, and seriously, the first mod I've ever seen to try to do that before. I thought it was pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it, too. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.